All right, finally getting around to do a review of this really, really neat little uh, crossword puzzle book here. Uh, brother sent this to me, Mike Morrow. Let me zoom in here, I'll show you his name. Mike Morrow, there you go. 90 true crossword puzzles. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. Amen. You know, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. And uh, what this is, pretty neat. He has it on this uh, CD in here that you can do and stuff. And uh, um, But you go through here, and it just says some different things and whatever. And, um, you know, just kind of a neat thing. You can read that stuff if you want to pause it there. But... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, just just really really neat um, down here you can see some King James Bible comparisons New American Standard Bible removed Christ and more 2001 you know some of these sections here I'm going to show you some of this stuff but just really cool if you if you're into crossword puzzle puzzles this is really neat God was manifest in the flesh so you have Matthew 123 behold a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and sh they shall call his name you know and right there you have it. And uh, Emmanuel is what it would be there. You know, and uh, see, it says also Isaiah 7, 14, Isaiah 9, 6. You know, so it it's, would be a really good thing for a parent that's trying to homeschool their children. I think it'd be, you know, really good for that. It'd be kind of a neat little activity thing that you could do, that you could have your children do. Um, here's one on hell. You know, and, and uh, a lot of neat things there. Defile. What's hypocrisy? Only Jesus. You know, and all this over here. I mean, it's just really neat. I'm, I'm not going to go through everything, you know, but it's, it's just really, really neat. Uh, but then, of course, you can even learn uh, things about the new versions in this. And I have even removed Christ and more. Matthew 23, verse 8. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and ye are all, and all ye are brethren. Okay? Um, so, you know, they're, what they're saying there is, you know, what he's saying is that in all these places the NIV is removing, you know, Christ. So, pretty interesting. Um, Revised Standard Version Corruptions. You know, so, I mean, there's just so many neat things in here that you can learn and you can study. And, uh, you know, where they're, you know, it's just, you're, you can learn a lot about what the new versions are doing. Book of Mormon versus the King James Version. Dewey Reams, corruption. You know. A few false prophets and doctrines. You know, and, and well, I guess these are actually the keys back in here, you know. You can see what the words are back in there. I don't want to show you because I don't want it to give it away. <laughs> but uh, he also has it in Romanian and Spanish. So I'll give you this brother's uh, contact information. If you're interested in obtaining a copy of this, you can write tomorrow. You say, why can't I do it today? You know, I had to say that, you know. It's just my weird sense of humor. You write to Michael Morrow. Not tomorrow, but tomorrow. <laughs> right there you go. Um, really, really neat. Like I said, uh, uh, just thank you, brother, for sending me these. I, I have a couple of them now, and, and uh, we're definitely, my wife and I are kind of fighting over them, and I said, now, you know, don't start writing in the thing till I get the video review done, you know, and then we can start <laughs> filling them out. It's Kind of neat. We'll do it in pencil, you know, so we can go back and erase it and do it again. But um, just really, really neat. And like I said, if you have some children that you're homeschooling, I think that these would be great homeschooling tools. Uh, like I said, you know, I didn't want to show too much of this on on film here because I don't want to take away from the work that he did, you know. And and uh, but just so neat, you know. And and just. Uh, you know, it's a game, it's a neat game, and it also teaches Scripture. It also, somebody that's not really familiar with the Word of God, they can go and they can look these Scriptures up, you know. 
it's it's great. It's really a neat tool. You know, so, I mean, we we all have different callings and different ministries that we can do for the Lord, and uh, things that we can do to to magnify the Word of God. And uh, this is just this is a great thing. I mean, I, you know, this is the kind of thing I don't even think about. You know, there are just so many things out there, little little areas where we can be involved for the Lord, and it's just so neat uh, to see the brethren come along and. The Lord giving them these ideas and just like they run with it. I think it's wonderful. So, um, like I said, if you're interested, you can contact the brother there. Um, Michael Morrow, P.O. Box 351, Battleground, Washington, 98604. Um, you can check that out. I highly recommend this. Really, really neat. So that's it. Thank you for watching.